right, here we go. We are live once again. Another tie of the week. Live brought to you on YouTube. Going to get things going here real quick. Make sure everything up and running properly. Um, let's see. Here we go. Tie of the week live. We're going to have some fun today. It's been a good week. Got to go to my info and settings. Uh, normally I get this a couple minutes early, but I was watching some, uh, spending some time with my wife, watching something on. Uh, good old Netflix but we're gonna get things going here we gotta hit save all right we got one person watching hello hello welcome to another tie of the week we're gonna talk a little bit about the numbers we're gonna talk a little bit about a oh, I'm gonna hit the mute button um, talk about the giveaway and we're gonna tie some flies these are gonna be some oh, these are gonna be some big flies copy and paste that's the one of the best compliments you can do is Hit that old copy and paste, or that share button rather. Get the word out, word on the street. We are tying live, all tied up. Wish I had a an assistant. If I could get this going with just myself, it would probably be I need to hit stay. And sometimes the internet runs a little bit slow. Um, so we'll get started here in just a couple minutes. everybody's week today anybody go fishing I need to get out it's been wet it's been rainy the water's been high I've been busy but I have have did a little bit of time I had that uh, glow-in-the-dark clouser and those uh, CFR Sandy's beetles those were a fun tie tying it was 42 flies last week. I was a little, I will admit, I was a little sore. It was a, a long, long fight, but nowhere near matching uh, a survivor. I mean, they, they, they've been through the hardest fight of them all. That and the, the families that have to live watching those that they love suffer but we're tying something a little bit bigger a little bit more fun I'm gonna say a little bit more fun but it is what it is it's a popper the secret is out we're tying poppers today 
I was able to make um, a run out to some fly shops. I had to pick up my mother at the airport uh, over the weekend, drop her off. And while I was down into the big cities of Minneapolis and St. Paul, I patronized the local fly shops because that's such a wonderful, wonderful, fun thing to do. And actually, on the way home today, I stopped at uh, I stopped by Cabela's, the big box store, and you know. It's hard to, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a fan of big box, I'll say that. I mean, they're there when you need them sometimes, most times not. So, alright, we're going to get things going. If I can unclick this and get that going. Alright, so with these poppers that we are tying, these are big poppers. Big, 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 big poppers. Big, big in comparison to say a small hook. When I say a small hook, I am not referring to anything, I don't know. These are two watts, two watt 3366s. Um, I would have preferred a, a kink shank um, for for this fly, but I don't have any that big. And if you don't know what I mean by a kink shank, let me pull. See if I have one handy. I guess I'll have to. There we go. So a kink shank really works with the body well and oh, that's what I mean about the kink shank <clears throat> all right we got we got Rob hey what's up bud how we doing today so anyways that's the kink this is a 2 watt 3366 and we got Hopper bodies. Let's see, we're not going to use the red. Red is the small. I got my hands on some olive, some black, some white, some yellow. And these these might be, they, I don't know if they, I'll have to compare. Yeah, these look a little bit smaller. Uh, the blue and the green, dark green. Um, I don't know. What do you say? Let's start with a start with a white. Let's do a light and bright. Something that's gonna reach out and say hi. So with these, these are these weren't actually from the local fly shops, although uh, the gentleman that did make these uh, supplies them to local fly shops and does sell them there. Uh, so if you ever see them, check them out. Here's the anyways. Um I'm gonna get the popper body on there. <clears throat> okay, you want Alright Rob, you said yellow, we'll do yellow. You say yellow, we'll do yellow. That's fine, fine, fine. All right, so this is how it's going to ride on the hook. Let's see if we'll get our light on. And uh, if you put it on like so, it's your your. That's how it's supposed to ride as a as a popper. Now, one of those magical things of flipping it around, we can make it uh, a diver. So we're going popping. We're going full, full out popper on this one. Uh, thread, let's go ahead. We're going to use this black four up. That's what I got. Well, yeah, 
What well, size is this? Uh, we'll use the white. White mystery size. That's no label on it. It's one of those labelless. Feels waxed. Anyways, uh, to start things off, I'm going to throw the popper head on there. And I'm going to take a couple of wraps, locking my thread on, just behind the body. Take some wraps to the back and trim off my thread. And what I can do is I can take off the body, set it off to the side, and get it out of the way. Might be hard to see on the, with the white and the white background, but um, I'm going to save that space for working on on the front. Oh yeah, that's that's it's one of my favorite bobbins. I got I got a lot of them. Support your local guys. A uh, guy in my fly tying club makes them. Um, so what color tail should we uh, do here, uh, Rob? I'm thinking yellow, yellow body. I got a little bit of scrap yellow, just a little bit. I mean, this is, I, I when people say they're done with uh, hair, there's always, there's always more left. Like, maybe we'll keep this one, I don't know, with yellow or should I do white? Let's do the yellow. Kind of use the muddy, muddy yellow on there. So we're going to take some of this muddy yellow and grabbing about a pencil size. Clean out, clean out all the junk. You really want to get all the under hair, under where? No, under hair, under hair out there. Those guard hairs, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call them. And to pack or not pack and stack. That's. That's the question. So after this fly, Rob, stick around because you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna get in on the directions for um, my giveaway. Because I'm doing a giveaway, but I am not screaming about this giveaway on the mountaintops. Um, uh, I don't know. You know, some of those giveaways they can be kind of kind of tacky, kind of corny. Kind of loud and obnoxious, which is some everything I'm not. I take this thread back a little bit further, a little bit further. Twist my knobs a little bit. Here we go. Let's go ahead and measure this out about a hook's length, and we're gonna set that right chill on the back side. This is uh oh. We got a we got a major malfunction there. Maybe I should switch to a different thread. I think that's the case. I got a heavier heavier white thread. I'm gonna stick with white. This stuff is just a little bit higher. This is a nylon that I'm switching to. Um, cause I was really reefing down on that pretty tight. All right, and I'm just going to work right over this thread that I got on here. So this is a heavier, heavier white thread. You can see already how much denser that is. You can probably pick it up on the camera. Oops, smash that down. 
So let that be a lesson for the new fly tires. Your, your thread breaks, don't cry about it, just move on. All right, we'll see if we can't pick up this uh, packed and stacked close enough. I don't lose its shape. We'll get it back on there. I'll probably, I'm gonna go back and watch, see if I nicked, nicked the tip of the hook. And I'm just going to take this forward to where that thread is. I'm just taking it all forward to get a nice even. Even body. Trim that off nice and close. I mean, I'm going to come through and palmer some hackle over this. So I'm not entirely way too concerned. All right, but before we do some hackle, um, why not? So I also recently acquired some glow-in-the-dark flashaboo. Look at this stuff. I did my I did my glow-in-the-dark Clouser minnow with this stuff, and they're all in the fly boxes already. But this is some pretty. Pretty neat stuff. I'll get that back out of there. Um, I'm not really going to use it as a main ingredient on this one, but I'm going to toss a little bit in there. Just a couple strands. Why not? It's sitting on the bench. I'm having fun with poppers. I'm going to do a couple strands. I'm going to do a little bit on this side. And we'll do it a little bit on the other side. So keeping it even, keeping it real. Why not? All right, so let's do some hackle. Uh, let's see here. I do got, I do, I do got, I do have some yellow, I do believe. I got one, two yellow hackle feathers left. So this will be it for the yellow for now. And I want a nice dense, dense hackle going through there. Oh no, bump the camera. Sorry about that everybody. My sincere apologies. Um, you know, I guess the jury's out. Uh, uh, Rob, Rob's asking a question about, you know, if the glow-in-the-dark is for the tires or if it's for the fish. Well, I suppose the jury's out. I mean, it's made by Flashaboo, so it's... I don't know. I trust the name Flashaboo. They make it, so it's got to be... Got to be good, I guess. I don't, I don't know. You tell me. We'll have, to, we'll have to ask the fish. I mean, here's the... Here's the packaging. Oh, good old Flashaboo. This is uh, 6950 is the color that I just tied in. But we're also going to tie in a little bit more. A little bit more flash in this before we go on with our hackle feathers. This is 6943. And just a couple, a couple strands. That's probably, I'm gonna do two strands. Literally, literally a couple of strands because I'm gonna fold it over Fold it over once. I like to trim my loops just to break the tension. And I will fold it over twice. Or maybe not. We'll just fold it over once. We'll do the near side. And we'll do the 
far side. Even that out. Why not? All right. You know what time it is, folks? Check your watches. Because it's hackle time. I'm going big on this. Nice, nice full size, full size hackle. Huge. Why not? Tie one in. And like I was saying, I want this to be kind of dense just because that's the way I like the look of it. Keep bumping my camera. Maybe if I had a camera operator. We'll get by. We shall get by. Hmm. I think in my haste and my run into this room from the other room, I might have forgotten the eyes, so. If my silent partner, my assistant, my lovely wife, would be so kind to bring them to me if and when you do hear this. Otherwise, I'll have to get up here in a few minutes, run and go grab those from the other room. So anyways, Hackle, I'm just going to do nice. I'm not going not to lay these the first one in too dense. That's why I got two of them. So I'm just going to space this out nice and even. Uh oh. So we'll get the first one in, we'll run the second one through, and this will just fill in all the gaps in that hackle. Just work it in there. I'm glad I went from the black thread to the white thread. All right, we'll run that all the way up. And I'll, I haven't not taken my material forward yet of where I originally placed my popper body. So that's going to go on next. Trim off the hackle. And now I'm going to build a small layer, of, build up a... Aha. The network is... The network is weak. So I apologize if there's any buffering action in this. But what I'm going to do is usually I, I do a, a spin on the thread to the left counter counterclockwise or anti-clockwise. But I want it to build up and rope up because I want, I want to build that surface area up on that thread. I'm just going to take it back and forth a couple of times because this is going to give my glue something to adhere to. And that's it. I mean, you don't have to worry about how beautiful this finish is, but it works. We'll give it the old one, two, three whip finish and trim that off. Okay, I'm looking over my shoulder, and I'm seeing some major, major buffering. Hey, Jimmy, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, you know, I'm just going to, I guess there's no point of letting it catch up. I guess everybody's just going to be on a super delay. So, uh, welcome, Jimmy. How are you doing today, my friend?
All right, let's get the popper head on. Uh, let's add a little bit of glue. This good old ultra gel control, you know, I, Zappa Gap is nice. That's what they sell at the fly shops. It's really great. This stuff takes just a little bit longer to set up, but I'm a patient guy. I'm just gonna get some of this all up in that thread. I split my body open. Get it in there nice and tight. Make sure it's nice and level. And I'm just gonna take it out of the vise and just pinch it in my hand here for just a second. And you know what, I guess since everybody's here right now, we will while this is drying, we'll do it, we'll throw up my fancy graphics. And we'll talk about the weekly giveaway for just a moment. So the weekly giveaway, the tie of the week giveaway, the tie of the week giveaway, 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 giveaway. Um, all right, so this is the rules. This is how it's going down. This is for the tie of the week. Each week I tie a fly. Yes, yes, yes. And at the end of the session, I will be taking said fly, last week's fly, was the CFR Sandy's Beetle. And each week I will be adding the fly to my little bin. And I'm going to give them away at the end of 12 weeks. So uh, how to enter, you will, um, after this live stream becomes a video, this is uh this is where it's all you have to do is leave a comment in that video after i'm done live streaming after this video post so the rules are one comment on the tie of the week video equals one entry one entry per person per week you must comment after this post as a video you have one week to do it only one week to do it after that you're out of luck you're out of that week the drawing is going to be on July 2nd, just before I head out to my uh, trip in Montana. And who knows? Uh, you know, I might miss a week, but if I do miss a week sometime between now and then, we'll fill it in. We'll fill in for the flies. So after this is done, you'll want to check that out. Um... I got my list, I got my entries. I do it old school, guys. This is, those are all the comments for the last one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're halfway, we're six weeks in, and there's some people that are, have been commenting every week, so they have six entries into the drawing. So if you're just joining me for the first time, you too can get on this drawing. But the odds are better for my people like, like Jimmy. I believe Jimmy's in every week. Uh, Pigeon fly tying is in every week. Uh, Donna, Donna Lardy is in every week. So, hey, you know, it pays to be a uh, pays to be a subscriber. So hit that subscribe button and everything will be awesome. All right. So now I have to go grab my eyes. I will BRB with haste. All right, we're back. Sorry about that delay, folks. All sorts of delays tonight. For that, I apologize. You know, I can only... One person can only do so much. Let's get some rubber legs on there. Hey, look at this. I still have two yellow legs left over from last month's uh, post-fly box subscription 
and you know I don't know I saw some people dogging them a while while ago and they're like oh you only get so much material well you can only get so much material yeah I believe you get what you pay for and you know what it's it's a good deal to me it is it's fun and to me that's what it's about not how much extra material but he gets them in the end all right so let's go ahead if you like the bobbin you'll love the bodkin i got those in all sorts of different colors too we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna stab this we'll maneuver the vise and what i'm aiming for I hope is to go under the shank of the hook there we go I felt it go through a nice even line that's what I like about this craft foam We're gonna, this isn't craft foam this is more like a, a flip-flop so let's go ahead and find the needle here we go I have a couple of these needles and I just found the other ones just the other day Yeah, after this fly, we can talk about my awesome find of the week today. Here we go. So I got these other needles. And I'm looking for the one with the smallest profile. That's not super, super duper ginormous. And... I'm pull out the bodkin and run the needle through I think this could have gone a little bit higher but I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it this stuff is not easy to get through bam that was fun All right, so let's go ahead and add a little dab of glue in there. A little dab of glue, yeah. I'm going to start short shooting on that side. Just a little dab of glue. Not too much. Coming it through. There we go. I like it. We will split those legs here in a moment because before we go too far with the glue, put this back up on camera. I got some googly eyes, some silly eyes. Got these uh, at the craft store, they're dirt cheap. It didn't come in the fancy Ziploc bag. I had to add my own Ziploc. All right, so let's just do a little dab of glue here. And I'm putting the eyes on the bottom. And these craft, craft eyes, whatever you want to call them, googly eyes, they're full of air. And we know what air does on the water. It stays towards the top. So this will help keep them, keep them afloat. In addition, in addition to the uh, typical floating action of foam, but it's a lot of fun. Goofy eyes. All right, that is popper, boom, boom. There we go. 
Let's go ahead and pop that up a little bit. So I will be doing a step-by-step uh, -step, uh, video here next on those uh, on this popper. It'll be my next video. Um, figured I would knock this one out uh, before. I don't know. Before I do my video, give my give my uh, live stream audience a quick a quick. A sneak peek, quick peek. Um, yeah, <laughs> Jimmy says that's a that's a SpongeBob. Yeah, I guess so. I guess that is a SpongeBob popper. It's a lot of fun and a big old one-out hook. So we'll spin this off to the side. We'll get back. We'll do another popper here in a minute. But in the meantime, I want to sh show off my thrift store find this is a uh, South Bend bait company quality tackle Orin o -matic. it's a model 1130 or a number 1130 model B it's an automatic reel you know I took it apart and I cleaned it out a little bit and it's pretty Pretty neat. Um, the the line on it is not a typical float line like you see out there today. It's got this nice antique line on there. So, you know, I just did some work, cleaned it up a little bit on the inside. I didn't add any oil or anything. I didn't grease or lube it because I'm not planning on ever fishing it. Uh, so, from my understanding, it was uh, manufactured maybe 1946. Um, yeah, it's got it goes on your rod like so, and it's got this lever action. You lift that up, and that retracts the line. Or you can also just press it like so. And I have another one, um, and I am going to use that one. I just replaced replaced the line on that. Uh, it's great for boats, I guess. Uh, it's great for people with uh, disabilities if our limited hand um, options, so to say. Ten bucks. Can't go wrong at the thrift shop. All right, let's do another popper real quick. Let's do another popper. All right, let's get that one off to the side. All right, here we go again. Here we go, here we go. Let's go ahead and get our hook in the vise. Again, this is a 2-watt 3366. Boom. All right. Must add 3366. Using a nylon thread. Doesn't have a size indicated on it. Just says, uh, I don't know, diameter wound, something, something. It's a herder's. Old herder's thread. So, oh, we need to get our, let's go ahead and get a, we're going to do a green. We're going to do a hot chartreuse green. We're going to do some bright ones today, tonight. We're going to set this on, and we're going to cast on our thread behind, which will give us our indicator of how far we can take up our material. We'll remove that and get it out of the way. And shazam. First piece of material I'm going to tie in. It's going to be a little bit of bucktail. We're going to use some bright green, some chartreuse. What do they have this labeled as? Lime. Lime green. You know, these foam poppers, they're so fundamental, they're simple, easy to fish. I mean, if you can't fish a popper for a big old bass i don't i don't know maybe you should trade in your fly rod take up golf 
hoppers are about one of the easiest you know you can't you can't lose it unless you lose it in a tree you know it's not like you're nymphing and you don't have to I mean there's no there's there's no guessing if a fish takes a popper so we'll stack this up a little bit oh well, we'll stack it up a little bit we'll measure this out this stuff is a lot longer than the other and that yellow muddy yellow but we'll measure it out the same and lock this in We'll take our thread forward and we'll just give that a trim up here after we lock it down. We just don't want to take it any further than that first wrap of thread. That's where that popper body is going to adhere to. And I brought that all the way forward just so this portion right here stays uniform in size. Alright, let's add a little... A little bit of bling, a little bit of a little bit of fun. Why not? Still have some of this. If you're just joining me, I got some of this. I want to do this. Oh, maybe I can. Let's go ahead and set this one off to the side. We'll check and see. Yeah, we'll set this off to the side for now. Let's see what the glow in the dark status is. We'll see how cool that looks. We'll hit it with a flashlight real quick. And even in low light, low light situation, that it's just going to add just a little bit. You know, I believe in, I believe in UV. I believe in the light spectrum. I believe. I want to believe. Can fish see in the dark? I don't know. But we're going to add a little bit of that to this fly. Bump, bump, bump. So a little bit of a little bit of the glow in the dark flashaboo. Why? Because I have it and it's fun. Why not? If you don't want to use glow in the dark flashaboo, if you're anti glow in the dark flashaboo, then don't use it. Don't use it. I got a little bit of here we go. And I'm not using a whole bunch here. Just a few strands. And just in the tail, a little bit on either side. So what I do here is I, I measure out my length on this side and I have it approximately. <laughs> Man, maybe uh too bad Jimmy, too bad I don't have my own my own store. Maybe tell your outfitters they need to give me a cut. Or at least a at least a nod and then I, I bring my I bring my flash forward and then I keep folding it back until I'm satisfied with the folded back length that way I don't have to trim anything it's a little bit easier all right let's go with a little bit of the holographic flashaboo let's see what we got here we'll go ahead and fold this over we'll tie this in the same And yeah, this one's just a little bit long too. So, if you didn't catch it on the first one, I come underneath, come around, and I can just measure that to length on the near side. And tie this forward a little bit. We'll take it forward just a little bit more. Yeah, I'm running my thread forward, whatever. But uh, this is also giving me full length, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, check your watches again, folks. You know what time it is? <clears throat> That's right, hackle time. Let's go ahead and pick one out. I got, I'm using this lime green. I don't have any lime green hackle, believe it or not. So we're going to have to settle with this white. We'll call this uh, 
If the other one was SpongeBob, this one can be, uh, I don't know, a, a bad Michigan State. <laughs> Green and white. All right, here's two hackle feathers. I mean, these are these are big. They're gangly. It's rude and crude. It's messy. And I like it. It's a sick world, and I'm a happy guy. Give my hackle a little haircut. Two, two of them. One, two. I'm just going to tie these both in at once. Nice and tight. Really compress that down. Take my thread. Park it right there. Oh, Rob, I'm going after smallmouth bass on these poppers. That is the target. The objective is smallmouth bass. I just got myself a new fancy 9 foot 8 weight. Oh, bump the camera again. And I am ready. Oh, ready to go after some bass. The water, water is ridiculously high right now. But I'm going for it. The, the fish can only swim so far, right? I mean, just because the water's high. Just because it's been raining cold, wet, nasty rain for the last two days. Doesn't mean anything, right? The fish are still there. So I got two hackle feathers. Because I have a little bit of territory to cover and I want... I want things to be nice and dense in my little body section there. You know what, this one even rolled forward. So the first one, the barbules were facing towards the rear. This one, the way it's coming out, the barbules are facing forward. And look at me, I'm not stressing over it. I like it. I think it's given a, it's a heck of a popper. I mean, if this does not get their attention, I don't know what will. I mean, when when is the good popper hatch? You tell me. <clears throat> I know I'm not going for the smallmouth bass with a, with a San Juan worm. Although that would be kind of fun. Go big or go home. I wonder if anybody's done any articulated poppers. Hmm. I could do a... So I got all sorts of these. I'm a big fan of the 3366. You know, maybe I could trail it with a, with a size 4 or a size 2 with something. Who knows? Alright, let's see. The hackle is on. Let's do our, let's do our base for the body. Alright, so instead of spinning the, my bobbin anti-clockwise, counter-clockwise, I'm going to spin it forward. I'm going to spin it for you. I'll pull it up here just so everybody can see. I'm going to spin it. Just letting it spin forward. Clockwise. And that will build it up like a rope. Okay, It's kind of hit critical mass. It's going to sit and it's going to stop. So when I do a nice open spiral forward. And I do my open spiral to the rear. I'm just kind of lacing that up. Give it another spin. We'll just go back and forth one last time. Why not? And that's going to give a lot, a lot of crevasses for that glue to adhere to. And if you didn't catch it, Rob. While you're drilling, the tiger maple. <laughs> I'm a blessed guy. I, I'm very fortunate. I feel 
Lucky just to know a guy that even makes them. We'll go ahead and do our one, two, three whip finish. Tie it, trim off the thread. Because we are D-U-N done with that. All right, let's go ahead and throw our body on there just to make sure we're satisfied with the way it, it's looking so far. And it reintroduces the size. There we go. That's a good start. Good start. So let's go ahead and we'll add our glue. This is Ultra Gel. It did go to the fly shops, but I did not purchase any of the Zappa Gap. Why? Because I forgot. I, I, I don't get to the fly shops often, and to be perfectly honest when I do, it's kind of kind of a sensory overload. I just, I get so overwhelmed at those shops. All right, give that a good squeeze here. We'll give this a squeeze here for a minute. So let's talk, let's talk about the numbers. Um, you know, as, as my followers may know, that I am a little bit of a data nerd and I like watching and you know I know I ultimately know in the end that the numbers are just numbers it doesn't really mean anything too much but I like watching the numbers go up and go down and well they're always going up so we're going to talk about the numbers of subscribers for the YouTube channel Facebook and good old Instagram uh, YouTube, we're up to 161 subscribers. Facebook has 119 likes. And Instagram is up to 191 followers. That's, that's amazing. I'm just, just a Minnesota boy. Well, in Minnesota now. All right, let's get our legs on. Let's see, we gotta pick our legs out first. Cause those last two were my last two remaining for that yellow. Let's go with, I think I got some more yellow legs. There we go. Centipede legs. Just gonna do two legs. These are, let's see, what's the nomenclature on these? These are medium number twos. Speckled yellow by the Montana Fly Company. It's interesting, this is before their, I don't know, I've always seen the Montana Fly Company with a, a different, different logo. You know what, this one I'm going to add a third leg as a nod call that the beer leg if you're a land surveyor if you're one of those ranks you know what I mean or throw a beer leg on there all right bodkin let's go ahead and puncture this through and we're gonna aim for under the shank of the hook Nice and in line. Just gonna take my time twisting that back and forth. And I can aim that up just a little bit higher. Maybe we'll back it up. Oh if I can feel it working, I'm like wow, maybe that's what a surgeon. Maybe that's what a surgeon feels. I felt that the needle, the tip of the needle hit the bone. It wasn't the bone, the, the shank of the hook. So, zoinks, that's a sharp hook. We'll run the 
needle through now. This is a little bit heavier of a needle than I would really like to be using. Maybe if I had a... I know they have leg pulling tools. But I am a leg pulling fool. Hmm. I missed my mark there again. Who's driving this school bus? Let me go ahead and just take it out of the vise. Maybe that'll be a little easier. Yeah. Way easier. Yeah, close enough. Close enough for popper. Close enough for a popper. Alright, let the vise hold it. Take these rubber legs. One, two, three. It's a lot easier said than done. All right, got the legs in. All right, pop it out of the vise again. Pull these legs through. Weeks. I almost biffed it, but we survived. Hot dog, we survived. All right, we got our squiggly rubber legs. We're doing good. Whew, that was intense. All right, we're gonna pull these up. Short them on one side. Add a dab of, add a dab of glue ya. Small little, small little bit. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Nice and even. We'll let that set for a moment. And uh, all those in favor say eyes. Let's add some eyes. The eyes have it. I think flies with eyes are just wonderful. Absolutely fantastic. Why not give them a little bit of life? It takes two seconds. A little spot of glue. A little spot of glue, yeah. And I hope it float. Whatever. I know there's some haters out there. I know there's some people that, I don't know if they could put an eye on a mop fly, they would. So, there you have it. That's another popper. Um, and if you're, alright, so let's see, it says I have seven people watching. I've got a couple minutes left here. Um, I'm going to give you guys, for just as an awesome person I am, just for just for you guys, for checking this out, for sticking with me for this whole stream, I'm going to share with you some weird experiments that I've been working on with this glow-in-the-dark stuff. Um, it's not very practical. But how do you guys feel about a glow-in-the-dark parachute? This is some freaky stuff. Let's go ahead and... We'll take our popper out. We'll play with, we'll play with the glow-in-the-dark stuff here for just a quick minute. You know, and this is this is just having fun, folks. I mean, I'm not being super serious with with the glow in the dark stuff here right now, but glow in the dark parachute. I present to you. How cool is that? All right. So, in addition to the glow in the dark parachute. I also came up with a little glow worm. And that one's pretty fun. Now, 
I decided to go a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger on the glowworm. Added a bead head. Let the let the flash fall down a little bit. Let's check that one out. I don't know. I mean I'm not doing any night fishing with this. But and here is the creme de la creme, the crazy thing. Now I know I know there's some competition out there. I know there's I know there's gonna be some haters, so let the haters hate. Because the aners ain't. But I present to you my version. My version of a mop and glow. This is absolutely ridiculous, I think. I don't know, maybe a fish will hit it. I I don't judge. I won't judge the fish if he does. I mean, it's... That's some freaky stuff here, the mop and glow. My version of it. I mean, why not? That's some freaky stuff here. So... All right, guys. Um, thanks for tuning in. We'll put the popper back up so everybody can see it. Um, we got the green, green popper, hot green. With a little bit of that, a little bit of that flash in there. Not too much. Who knows? Who knows if it works? We'll find out. And we had a green one, and we had this yellow one. They're friends. Popper friends forever. Uh, they'll, they'll, they'll be friends, hanging out in the fly box, ready to go fishing. So, alright gang. Um, after this video syndicates and hits the interweb, after it's done live, live streaming, go back, leave me a comment... You know, leave me a suggestion. Give me a suggestion. I'm looking for suggestions of things to tie. Um, I'm always looking for things to research. Uh, I live in bass country. I'm I'm getting into streamers and some big stuff. I got these big old 3366 size 2 hooks. So, I tell you what. You leave me a comment on what you would like me to tie on this 3366 size 2 hook and you know I'll do my best we'll do my best to see what I come up with something that we can tie tie all day long alright gang um, thank you for watching be sure to subscribe uh, Subscribe to the YouTube channel, slide over to Facebook, hit that like button, hit the follow button. I'm always posting posting my pictures. But if you're if you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, slide over to Instagram. Um, I'm always posting my pictures of uh, things that come out of the bench here. So, all right, gang, happy tying and tight lines.